Hello and welcome to Second Drafts, everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Today we'll be talking about keywords and categories for setting up your Kindle ebook, which is the next step if you've been following along with our tutorials. Kindle uses the keywords you provide and the categories you choose to place your book in the appropriate location for its store. What to have for your categories and keywords can be very confusing for two reasons. One reason is because when choosing your categories, it is the Book Industry Standards and Communications, or BISAC, format, while Amazon itself has hundreds of genres and subgenres. With BISAC, you choose a very broad genre, such as historical fiction, and Amazon uses it alongside the keywords you choose to place the book. The second reason is because Amazon is like a search engine for books and should be treated as such. Broad keywords aren't going to cut it. So you have to find targeted keywords that apply to your book that don't have that much competition and are popular searches. It's difficult to know how to figure out all this information. Unfortunately, there is not an exact science when it comes to the categories and the keywords, but there are steps you can take to make your job easier. Before we get into the meat of what you can do, however, I want to talk about a tool you can use to make this 10 times easier and 10 times faster. That tool is called Kindle Spy or KD Spy. As a disclaimer, I am an affiliate with KD Spy. And what that means is if you use the link that I provided in the description below and purchase it, I will get a little commission. However, I wouldn't promote something I wouldn't use myself. And KD Spy has a money back guarantee, so you can see if it's right for you. KD Spy works with your browser and compiles all the data on categories that you would normally have to do by hand. It tells you whether a category has high competition, good potential for sales, and whether it's a popular category. KD Spy makes selecting a category and finding keywords 10 times easier and faster than manually doing it. So check out KD Spy with the link in the description below and try it out. But of course, I'm still going to show you how to figure out what category to choose on your own. So let's get started. One way you can go about choosing your category is by looking at what category your competition is in. If you know of a book that's similar to your own, go to its Amazon page and scroll down to the bottom to the Look for Similar Items by Category section. Here, you'll be able to see what categories the book is in. But once again, the category at the end might not necessarily show up as an option to choose because of how Amazon sorts categories versus the BISAC format. You'll also notice that it's separated into two sections, Books and Kindle Store, which will further divide your category options. Note down the categories and the path to reach each. For instance, to get to my book, you go to the Kindle Store, then Kindle eBooks, then Literature and Fiction, Historical Fiction, and finally, Caribbean and Latin America. Click on the category just before the last one. In this case, for me, it would be Historical Fiction. On the left of this section, you'll see all the subcategories available in Historical Fiction. The numbers in brackets beside each subcategory is the number of books within that category. That means that's how much competition you have within a given category. Certainly, your book is not going to apply to a lot of these subcategories, but it is nice to know how many other books there are in the category. As if there's too much competition, you may want to choose another that applies. The less people in the same category as you, the more likely you are to stand out, and the more likely you are to rank high in sales in that category. You'll want to search around the different sections of the Amazon Bookstore to see what categories fit into a niche you provide for. Has the least amount of competition, but also has good sales. How can you tell if the subcategory has good sales? 
you have to check the best-selling books in the category to see for yourself. The general recommendation I see is that the top sellers should be between about 20,000 and 100,000 in the Amazon sales rank. If they are higher than that, it's certainly still possible to sell well in that category, as it means that category has high traffic. But the competition is harsher. This part can be very time consuming, but it can mean the difference between mediocre sales and a bestseller in that category. The higher you rank, the more likely you are to be bought. Once you feel that you've found a subcategory your book belongs in and will sell well in, take note of the main category, as that is most likely what you will find in the BISAC selection. If you can find the subcategory as a category option, then all the better. Now that we've chosen our categories, we can move on to the keywords. In order for you to get into the subcategory you want, you'll need to choose the right keywords. Since we've already taken a lot of time on this video, we'll be covering more on keywords in our next video. For now, add the subcategory you want to be in into a keyword list for later. You'll also want to visit the help section of Amazon as there are subcategories that need specific keywords. If the subcategory you want to be in is on that page, you'll want to add those keywords into the list we're making. The link to this part of the Amazon site will be in the description below. And don't forget to check out KD Spy with the link in the description as well. It'll save you tons of time on this step and the next one, and it'll help me out as well. That's all we have for today's video. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And remember, Second Drafts has everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Do you want to support production of this YouTube series? Visit www.patreon.com slash and become a patron today.